Hey everybody, the bang is back. Welcome to part two. Let's play Brave Fencer Musashi, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. All right, we're gonna take on the first boss of the game called Steam Knight. Dang, nice of the game to tell you what the weaknesses are. Basically, do not try to attack the legs while the steam is going. What you wanna do is wait for him to swing his giant chain ball. I prefer to go in the direction opposite of where the chain ball is too. And unfortunately, this game can get quite Castlevania on you and drop a chandelier on your head. Oops! Because, yeah, if you hit the steam, that's what will happen. This drops the ball, the steam is gone, then you can go for the leg. It does take off the cloth. And then you go for the weak spot, which is this giant green crystal on his crotch. Okay, now I gotta go for the legs again. Hopefully a chandelier. Fuck. Yeah, now one leg is completely trashed. There. Completed all its health, right? Wrong. That's just one face. Now you gotta do it with the other legs. Same strategy, don't worry. Since you're in a different scenery, like marble pillars around, this could get a bit trickier. But at least he can throw the pillars at him. But unfortunately, he can throw them at you, too. You can decide to use the pillars as a weapon if you want. It doesn't seem to do that much damage. Ow. Okay, just a little bit more. Once you completely trash a leg, then you can go for the core. I prefer not to use Lumina all the time because, as powerful as it is, it's also slow because it's a heavier weapon. What I prefer to do is use a few shots with Fusion and then I finish it off with Lumina. It's a pretty good strategy and I got crushed because I'm dumbass. Jiro? Yeah, you'll have to be pretty patient with this boss. Trust me, this is a common theme in Brave Fencer Musashi. Most bosses, you have to be extremely patient with. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's the end of the second phase, and yes, there is a third phase. This one is slightly different, because now it jumps up at you. You want to make sure you're connecting below the enemy, so you can hit its core. Remember, it's only in the front. Now I can destroy houses, but don't worry, the debris won't affect you in any way. He actually swings the ball and chain in less rotations, and then swings it at you. Usually it's four or five rotations, and now it seems to be just three. So watch out for that. But don't get too greedy, because he will just jump on you if you do. Funny how I was trashing his legs and all of a sudden they're moving again. I don't care who's living there. There with God now. Poor Satan. Depending on what kind of life they lived. Okay, just a little bit more. Yeah. This guy doesn't want to give up, I must say. Pretty motivated for a robot, don't you think? I'm guessing he's gone to Satan too, or or like to call it Mormon heaven. They're pretty much the same. Nah, I just can I can't say that about any religion. I'll say it about all religions. There, now I'm not prejudiced. Enough said. A little bit more, and this boss will be dead. Aw, could have had a chance to kill it there. Got him! Here, and I'll just throw you out. Still alive? Hey, you forgot something! Oh, yeah, you're falling chain, and. Right in the crotch! And now you're dead. Oh, 
Well, basically, if you fight a robot for three phases, of course you're going to be tired. So yeah, I will save the game, and yeah, I did play through this game and beat it. Don't worry, you're not going to see that much spoilers out of that menu. Chapter 2, A New Journey. Which actually started in Chapter 1, technically. Oh, you do! You should sleep inside the covers, not outside. Uh, huh? Where is this place? Why is that gonna be like 127 p.m.? Thou hath awakeneth. Hey, geezer, wait. Have we met? <clears throat> I'm Livers, the butler. Who cares about that? Why am I here? We foundeth thou sleeping after thou defeated Thirst Quencher's abominable roboteth. So we broughteth thou to hither roometh. <sighs> oh yeah, and that big imbecile with the cape. He kidnapped a princess! That loser! I let him get away! Hey, Geezer, do I have to save the princess to go back to my world? Thou art beeth corrected. However, they willth not sitteth around quietly. They willth come hither for Lumina. Something special about Lumina? Indeedeth. Legendary brave fencer Musashi used Lumina, the sword of luminescence. To sealeth away the wizard of darkness. And when it absorbs all the five scrolls earth, water, fire, wind, and sky. No heart? Thou doth will inheriteth extraordinary powers. Someone doesn't like Captain Planet. The sword of luminescence. Lumina and the five scrolls. No wonder they want them. So where can I get my hands on the five scrolls? <clears throat> If only our fortune teller, Sia Beaverly, were here, she would know. She ran off with some handsome dude, huh? No, she was kidnapped. By an ugly dude. What? So the princess is not the only one? Well, actually, there were 40 people at All You Can Eat Palace. Now there are only five left. They've all been sealed within Bincho fields and scattered in all directions. Why are you sewing Bincho your arms like in hand job position? What are they? Are they the Thirst Quencher Empire's doing? Yes, I saw it myself. Hand job, hand job, hand job. Everyone was sealed into large green diamonds and then just poof, vanished. I can't believe it. So I guess one of them was the fortune teller, right? So that means I have to save not only the princess, but everyone else, too. Sir Musashi, I knew that thou would help with us. Thou mayest break. Bincho fields easily with Lumina. Oh, and these will help thou. Okay, so I received the rescue list so I can look at what people I saved and what people I still need to save. And a sensor watch that flashes red when you're near a Bincho field. When if that watch flashes red, a Bincho field doth nearby. I just said that. The people who you say would help you on oh, your Oh, I forgot the ith. Good luck, Sir Musashi. Grillen Village is located at the foot of this castle. Please use it as your base. Before thou goest, thou should do some research in the castle's library. Now, the thing is, you have to say yes, because that's what happens if you say no. Nah, studying sucks. If thou will be a sloth, the princess will not be saved. And thou will never return home. Now here's the thing. Even if I said two, like, but I hate studying, he will say the exact same thing he said before. In other words, you do not have a choice. You have to hit the books. Okay, I'll go hit the books. Good luck, Sir Masashi. I forgot to mention it, but this room is yours, so use it as you wish. Please take care on your journey, sir. Hey, yeah, a good place to rest to recover your bin show points and your HP. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, Sir Musashi, been waiting for you. Who are you? I'm Scribe Shanky. Master but of Shanky. You see, my job for now is to read these books for you. 
Come closer. Okay. All right, basically you can learn like a lot of stuff here, but you can't read every single book. Some of them are unavailable until later in the game we can actually read. The hero used Lumina, the sword of Luminous and the seal of Wizard of Darkness, but I already got that information. What about these five crests? A hidden path may be unlocked when a crest unites with its corresponding scroll. So you not only need the scroll, but you have to unlock the crest as well to unlock paths. Paths you'll need to get through the game. Okay, legendary armor. The armor wore by Brave Fencer Masashi, it... Hang on. It's said that there are five pieces, but... Sorry about that, I accidentally hit my mouthpiece on my uh, headset. So yeah, there are five crests for each scroll, and there's also legendary armor. And the armor is separated into different pieces, and each piece gives you a different ability. Which is pretty good. That will come in handy later. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't want to read anyway. Oh! Was that enough? Yep, very. Well then, you should go down to the village. Well, let's see. It's a shame that the gondola is broken. Oh, oh I know. Use both of your big swords. Lumina you like that, wouldn't you? Fusion? Oh yes, you can go along the gondola's ropeway and glide down to the village. This palace must be pretty high up on the mountain. I'll take your advice. Thanks. Okay, see you soon from San Francisco. Okay, I don't even know why there's a command to go to the sub menu. If you can easily do that at pause. Ah, well, just in case you really didn't care about it. Alright, going to the village, and this looks quite dangerous. What could go wrong? Well, maybe a concussion. This is Grillin Village? Let's see what I can find out. But first, I'm kind of hungry. Better eat before I starve. Come to think of it, I haven't had anything since... I better get some grub first. Alright, this way over here leads to, uh, Twin Peak Mountain, but the thing is, this guy won't let you through. You can't go! Mayor has to say yes! A twirly bird on his roof! Okay, that guy's a bit retarded, but at least he gave me a hint on where I'm supposed to look. As far as this dead end goes, there's actually something special about it. Looks like animal dung! I wonder if something's nearby. Now, as far as this animal dung goes, which I think looks pretty bloody or tutti fruity shit. Well, the thing is, when you go to the town around at night, where the animal dung is, like probably around 10 p.m. or so before it gets the sun, like the sunrise, you actually find a little creature called a minku. If you're lucky enough to get one, you will recover 25 HP. Maximum. Not minimum. Maximum. Like you gain more HP. Welcome! Are you new to this area? Yeah, I'm Usashi. I'm staying at the palace. Oh, how lucky. So, may I help you? Well, a blowjob would be nice, but apparently you're not selling those yet. Okay, basically you get some bread there, and some milk, restore your BP, restore your HP. And the thing about bread and milk is if you hold on to them for more than five days, because yes, there is time in this game, the bread and the milk will go bad. In other words, they will poison you. So in other words, try not to hold on to it for too long. But don't worry about that because there's another store where you can actually get actual items like healing items, BP restorative items, items that'll wake you back up, because yes, you can get fatigued. This is a toy shop for collectibles, they're not very important. This is the inn where you can rest and probably save the game. And this is the pawn shop where you can appraise some rare items. And you'll need that later, trust me on this one. Over here is the church, and now we're at the residential area. Okay, this looks like the Maris house over here. 
Hey, old man! I have some questions! Why does he look like Chuck Norris? Uh, old man? Do you know who you're talking to? And why are you pointing that sword at me? Are you going to mug me? Don't be stupid! My name's Musashi! I'm looking for the five scrolls! The five scrolls? Do you mean the sword on your back is... Oh, this? It's a sword called Lumina! Lumina? A legendary sword? And your name... Musashi? You're not just an ordinary kid, are you? You must be the hero! Calm down, pal! Who cares about that? Do you know about the five scrolls? The five scrolls? Let me make you a proposal. The beloved town dog has disappeared. If you bring him back, I'll consider you a citizen of the town and tell you what I know about the five scrolls. Alright, it's a deal. I knew you'd do it. I heard that some people saw him going towards Twin Peak Mountain. However, to enter is forbidden, and even I can't give permission. What the? Well, anyways, I'll get your dog back, pal. See ya! I still think that guy looks like Chuck Norris with a bandana. Trust me, when it comes to Chuck Norris, sweatband sweat. Some Nolet Forest will be going there later, but first... Why don't we go over this way? This way is a dead end, but trust me, this is important. Well, not too important, but it's a pretty easy Bincho field. This is the only room Bencho here. Bincho field! Better get him out! Like there's nothing else, just the Bincho field. To go up to it and free it, just use Lumina. One swap is all you need. Hawker Steakwood. Was it you that liberated me from my dreadful sufferings? I appreciate it. To show you my appreciation, I'll tell you something valuable. An animal called Minku carries a fruit called Longevity Berry. It does wonders for your health. How do you get it, you ask? Well, I can't tell you here. Maybe later. Well, any people that you have saved, you can actually go back to the palace and talk to them. Some of them will give you some rare items, some will give you some hints, even some new techniques. Which is quite handy, so you should see every person that you rescued at least once. And I'm thinking of stopping the video soon, but before I do, why don't I explain the level up system? Of course, I'm only level 1, which is a little turd, unfortunately. And it's quite funny, I know. But you also got 4 th stats you can level up quite easily. There's body, which increases your strength. All you have to do is defeat enemies and your experience will go up. As far as mine goes, it'll increase your defense. Now the more you walk around, the more you can level up. Yep, walking and running around increases your mind. Fusion, you had to use fusion a lot to increase its level. Same with Lumina. And as far as I'm concerned, in each chapter there's a limit level for each stat. Meaning you cannot go to maximum level only at chapter 2. Like, once you're at max level for that certain chapter, like, at the limit, your meter will start flashing, letting you know that it can't go any further. That number over there to the right, it probably tells you how many experience points you need to get in order for that... You know, in order for that bar to rise. The higher the number, the more experience you need to get. I think. Okay, now I think I'll stop the video right here. Next part, to go to Samuel at Forest and find some more Bincho Fields and probably some other stuff, too. See ya, everyone.